I'm Dognis Aberdeen and thank you for joining us tonight. As you will be coming along on our adventure north to the Baffin Bay area, roughly 2,000 miles north. Here we will be talking to local residents and asking them about the everyday life. So I ask you to join me on the adventure to the Baffin Bay. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. So, what do you guys eat for a regular meal? We eat salmon. We eat chips. And that's basically it. <laughs> here, Get it back. here in Bywalk, we don't have anything other than chips and salmon. Because we I... live in the Baffin Bay, which is located in northern Canada. And the only fish in there is salmon. Oh, interesting. Yes. Are you sure that's all you eat? You don't have any little knickknacks? No, that's it. Okay. All right. We'll be on our way then. Here, you take one. Take some. All right. Thank you. Let's go, Bye -bye. family. Let's go. Bye. Hi. We are here with uh, what is your name? Mary Kate. Mary Kate, and she's going to be telling us um, what exactly their apparel is uh, in Bylock. We wear slipper boots to help walk through the nice snow. We wear scarves, also as hats, and we wear big puffy old jackets because it's chilly. It is very cold. I will say that. <laughs> Along here with Ashley. Um, I am here to ask her a little bit about the traditions that they celebrate. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we celebrate Ella Teston Day, and that is January 6, 1997. But and it's every January 6th <laughs> every year. And um, could you explain to us a little bit about what that's like? Well, everyone gets presents, everyone, and school is off, and we celebrate the birth of her because she's so amazing. Um, could you tell, is she like a historical feature? No. No? She is just an amazing person that was born January 6th, 1997. Okay, well there you have it. Ella Teston Day, January 6th. I am here interviewing um, a fellow by Kotian. By Lottian. By Lottian, by Lottian. Um, what is your name, sir? My name is George Costanza. All right, all right. Um, could you tell us a little bit about um, your values and stuff about the Bailotian culture that might be interesting? Certainly, certainly. Well, here in Bailot, one of the main things we value is our animal species that are in the Baffin Bay. We have dolphins, such as these. This is a sacred Close shrine, up, a sacred shrine of um, Bailot, and it is our symbol of love and devotion for for our country. Interesting, interesting. Um, is there any other values that, um, that Actually, yes. We have a candy tree, actually. Candy right. is one of the most important things to Bailotian culture. Yes. Just up this way. <laughs> Here we have our candy tree, and it's loaded with all different types of, you know, fresh, candy. Here we have some, you know, ones that... Rotted, probably, obviously. Yeah. And also, because of our, our very successful candy industry, because of this tree, we have a very good economy. So as you see here, um, money actually does grow on trees in Bylot. Um, awesome. Yes, at the higher elevations you'll see the, the, the big money, and then at these middle to lower elevations you'll see, you know, the ones. So, yeah, because of these types of trees, it's essential to the Bailatian economy that these trees stay in, in, uh, in perfect, uh, condition. Per perfect condition, correct, and that, uh, you know, they keep producing the money that they produce. Cause yeah. Very good. essential. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you. Hi, I'm here with another guest um, from the Bailotian culture. Hey, Ashley today is going to tell us a bit about the um, shelter in which they live in. Uh, could you give us a brief description? Well, um, most Bailotians live in ice mansions. Ice mansions can be up to three levels. If you have any more, it's
it's all going to come down, it's going to be like an ab match. It's just not good. Right, right. Um. So, could you tell us a little bit of what's inside an ice mansion? Um, well, everything is made of ice because if you have anything else, it's going to just mess up the entire house. And you cannot, you strictly cannot have anything cooking in there. Everything must be frozen. Right. So, the like salmon, the salmon, it's frozen. We don't right. cook it. Yes. Like so, you have we have ice TVs, we have ice chairs. Sometimes it gets a little chilly, but that's what I mean. <laughs> right. Um. Yes, it, it's a bit chilly over here. And thank you for being on our show today. Tell us a little bit about the geography. Well, actually, um, the geography of Bylot in the Baffin Bay area, we're very close to Greenland. Right. So um, along with Greenland we sit on top of the Greenland plate which is a subplate of the North American plate and um, there, there's something called the Greenland crate, the Greenland Craton along with the Isoa Greenstone, Green, Greenstone Belt in southwestern Greenland um, contains the oldest rocks on earth dated at around 3.7 to 3.8 billion years uh, old. And if you know how old the earth is, which is around 4.6 billion years, you'll notice that it takes a, a large fraction of the earth's age, basically. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, uh, George Stanza. Um, that is it. Thank you. In my one-year journey up north to the Baffin Bay area, I discovered much of the climate and geography of the area. The climate is Arctic to subarctic. In the summer and spring, it is actually warm. However, once nighttime comes around, I've noticed that the temperature drops drastically. Also, the northern lights are very frequent in spring. Fall and winter are magical there. The temperature, the temperatures are ridiculously cold. The daylight hours are limited. All in all, southwestern Greenland and the Baffin Bay area has an average of 300 days of sunshine a year. And lastly, polar easterlies are very prominent in the area. Thank you for joining me on this life-changing experience. this close. You can't see it. <laughs> Let me see. Just back up. Ah, there we go. Dead? That's good. That's good. That's good. Where's the poster board? All right, we can just cut out parts. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I can edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, known, is, has the oldest. Ow, things are bread. Continue. Ow. That's Mr. and Mrs. Shaving ice and mighty. Are they looking at us? They're definitely stopped to look at us. Are they really? Yeah. Are they walking? I'm recording them. Seriously, <laughs> why are they looking over this here? This is really weird. I'm sorry. I continue. I'm so awkward. No, I do. Oh, I don't feel awkward at all. Hello? Stop. <laughs> Am I embarrassing you? Yeah. <laughs> all right, continue. Wow.